Okay, so now we've learned how alternating current works. Uh, next we want to know uh, how alternating current can produce electromagnetic waves. An alternating source of voltage is shown here, and so we have attached it to an antenna. An antenna is really just a, a long straight piece of uh, conducting metal, uh, a wire, I guess, and uh, we have attached it to our alternating uh, voltage source. So to start with, uh, we have a pretty large voltage because the uh, voltage from the AC source creates a, a charge separation, right? So it's connected to uh, both sides. So in this case, we've created a charge separation. So the charge at the top of the antenna here is positive, and the charge at the bottom of the antenna is negative. So the electrons have all sloshed to the bottom of the antenna due to the uh, uh, AC source. So uh, because of that, uh, which way does our electric field point? Well, a positive charge will want to uh, move towards the negative charges, so the electric field will point down. Okay, so now the voltage uh, reduces by a bit, since this is an alternating current, and so uh, there still is an electric field pointing down now, but it is noticeably weaker. After a little bit more time, the alternating voltage has hit zero, so now there's no electric field. It uh, keeps going, and now the uh, voltage has flipped, and instead of pointing the uh, down, now the negative charges are on the top of the antenna, so the electric field is now pointing up. And as the uh, voltage keeps oscillating, the electric field keeps changing. Now in addition to the electric field oscillating, the electric field also moves away from the antenna. We haven't really talked about it, but we've uh, sort of treated electric fields as if uh, things that sort of turn on instantly. But the field also moves away from our antenna at the speed of light. So you have a wave with an electric field moving away from antenna, and uh, it's not constant, right? The electric field is uh, waving like a sine wave as it uh, moves away from our antenna. Another concept that we've already learned is that when we have moving electric charges, uh, what happens? A magnetic field is induced. So as the electric field oscillates, this also induces a magnetic field that is perpendicular to the electric field. That induced magnetic field is also changing. The electric field is constantly oscillating, so the magnetic field is uh, oscillating as well. That changing magnetic field, guess what it can do? That's right, it can induce an electric current. So close to the antenna, the electric field generates a uh, electric field that propagates. So as it moves away from the antenna, it also produces an oscillating magnetic field that moves away from the antenna. So uh, what happens when you have the changing electric field? It creates a changing magnetic field. What happens when you have a changing magnetic field? It creates a changing electric field. So this results in a self-propagating electromagnetic wave that is sent off in, uh, from uh, all directions from our antenna. So, uh, okay, so I guess um, I forgot to put it here, but there is a FET uh, that is in the long kappa here, and uh, this shows the idea behind this, uh, basically the idea behind a radio. So you can take the charge on our uh, primary antenna and move it back and forth to create an electric field that moves away from the antenna. Then on a second antenna, or the receiver, you can detect the electric field, and so it oscillates, and then you can get an image of the wave function that was produced by the original antenna. So this would be some long distance away, and you can uh, send the oscillations from one antenna to the other. This is how a radio works. You have an oscillating charge, and then a second antenna can pick up that oscillating wave a long distance away, so you can hear the patterns produced by the original uh, field. So the idea here is that we have a changing electric field that induces a changing magnetic field that induces a changing electric field. And these uh, changing fields exist together and propagate one another. And uh, this propagating wave is called electromagnetic radiation, or EM radiation. And this is what uh, makes up all electromagnetic radiation, from visible light to x-rays to uh, radio waves. Okay, so you have a few questions to do, so uh, good luck, and next we'll talk about the properties of electromagnetic waves.